Hello, I'm Congressman Marlon Stutzman from Indiana's 3rd Congressional District. This past week, as the Senate began debate over President Obama's nominee to chair the Federal Reserve, the House Financial Services Committee held a hearing on how our Federal Reserve compares to other central banks around the world. What we found is that a precise and well-understood monetary policy objective, safeguarded from political pressure by the executive branch, bolsters a central bank's credibility and improves economic outcomes. So what does this mean for the Federal Reserve? To put it simply, the Fed could be more effective if it pursued a single monetary policy objective. Today, however, the Federal Reserve has a muddled mission. In the late 1970s, Congress gave the Fed what's commonly called a dual mandate. And it's often led to confusion as to whether the Fed is paying more attention to price stability or to labor market conditions at any given time. Printing money to bring down unemployment is ineffective and also makes it harder for the Fed to accomplish its primary mandate, keeping prices stable. Printing money, no matter who chairs the Federal Reserve, is no substitute for the sound job growth policies Americans deserve. That's why, throughout last week's hearing, I was particularly interested in those governments without such a dual mandate. Numerous economists and scholars have stated that the dual mandate undermines attempts to fashion the kind of predictable, rules-based monetary policy that encourages much-needed economic certainty. That's why I authored a bill, the FOCUS Act, to eliminate the Fed's dual mandate in order to focus solely on price stability. As I have said before, families and businesses across the country can ill afford the inflation, debt, and insecurity that this misguided approach threatens. Experience shows that a focus on price stability is the best way for the Fed to lay the groundwork for a strong economy that creates jobs. As the Federal Reserve marks its centennial this year, the Financial Services Committee will continue to hold hearings and explore ways to improve this important institution. Thanks for watching, and please visit financialservices.house.gov to learn more.